Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a reseller looking for reseller content, you've come to the right place. Today I have part two of a thrift haul where I spent $108.08 on 90 items. I am a full-time ELA teacher. I've been doing that for 20, this is my 22nd year. And uh, I have five kids. Well, we have five kids, my husband and I do. Two are old, I guess. Like, I feel really old. One is almost 20 and one is almost 18. And then we have a 16-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 10-year-old. If you're a reseller parent and you're looking to see how you can fit you know, reselling into your nooks and crannies of everyday life, you have come to the right place. If you're a new subscriber or you are uh, somebody who wants to subscribe, maybe that might be you, go ahead and hit that button. If you are not new and you're coming back, thanks so much for joining me. So let's just get right to it then. I will include the things that sold because they have sold and I will talk with you about them. All of these items I have photographed. Not all of them are listed yet. I use one shop. I'll put that link uh, for you in the description so you can check it out if you'd like. One shop automatically posts to four platforms, Depop, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark all at once so there is no cross posting. I use a, uh, an, a listing assistant from one shop also. Not for all of my items, probably for about a maybe 100 items a month. And I try to list between 70 and 100 items a week. So you can see like my listing assistant, they, they charge a dollar a listing, does about, you know, a quarter to a third of what I'm listing every month. Okay, then let's just, just jump right in and I will talk with you about each of these items, why I picked it up. And then remember, these were a dollar and 20 cents each. So here we go. 100% cashmere. This is not a brand I normally pick up. I've been trying to find more men's items. I actually just started following K&M Resell, uh, a, a husband and wife duo that focus primarily on men. So I can start to learn more about men's in this year, 2024. Cashmere, I picked it up because it's cashmere and it's an XL. This is listed. I just pushed this listing live today and I believe I have it listed for $30 on eBay, Mercari and Depop. And then Poshmark, I've just started pricing up because I send automatic offers using Posher VA. All right, moving on. These are, so I got some shoes, some Fly London shoes. These do have a little bit of wear. Um, they are listed, I can't remember how much, maybe 40. They are a size 41, which is like a women's 10, 10 and a half. And they're just leather shoes. That's actually a really good brand. It's kind of like a bolo brand, but it depends on what the style is. So you definitely want to look that up and find out. Okay. All right. This next pair of shoes, I'm just going to show you one is called J Shoes. I don't know if you probably can't. Yeah, you can't see that. I'll show you the bottom. These are really well constructed men's, um, almost like a, almost like a, I don't know, like an Oxford style, honestly. These are listed, I think, for like $45. Um, it's not a, it's a, I think it's a European brand. Yeah, it's a European brand. These are men's size 11, kind of a green color. Comps were pretty good for those. I do try to pick up men's things if they look like, you know, comps are pretty good. I've been working on finding out a little bit more about sell-through rate this year. That's another thing I've been trying to focus on. I just have a hard time looking things up on eBay. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. If you have any pointers, please let me know. I'm going to step back because my head, my forehead was cut off. Bras, guys, get them. Especially the larger size bras. Um, any of the Victoria's Secret bras that are this line, which I will tell you the Dream Angel line, they tend to be fairly lucrative. This will probably sell between 25 and 35. 30 ish dollars. I think I have it listed for 35. So the larger sizes, I always pick the bras up. You should consider that as well. Okay. This next item is something that is definitely trending right now. And <clears throat> it's the Western Pearl Snap button tops. I do have this photograph and ready to push live, but it's not yet. This is vintage. The brand is Eli Cattleman, which not all of his items do well. And it is a men's XL with the pearl snap buttons. I think I have my listing price on this at 30. Okay. When I say the listing price, just assume that it's going to be a little bit more for Poshmark. This is a Chico's line. Uh, so Chico's is a woman's brand. If you are new to reselling, it's a bread and butter brand. A lot of these things that I'm showing you are bread and bread and butter. Um, but Chico's, some of Chico's items are very good, quick sellers. And one of the ones that I find, one of the styles, I guess I should say, that I find that sells well is these button-up shirts that are the wrinkle resistant. 
Now, Chico sizing is vanity sizing, so a three, I believe, is a large. Okay, and it's just got this kind of like art deco geometric style. I think I have that listed for 28, 25, 28, something like that. Okay, this Burton hoodie is has been cut off. Um, somebody cropped it and they cropped it by hand. It is a men's large, but I listed it under women's as an XL, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Cause it is a men's top and I don't remember. Burton is a really good brand as far as, um, as far as like how much you have to pay for it. It's retail value. It doesn't always do great on the re, uh, resale market. Now, this is something that sold and my paper is over there because I forgot to bring it. Very irresponsible. But this sold on Depop within a day. I picked up three of these skirts and actually the other two also sold. One of them I will put, um, I will add here. I, I think it was from this haul and not the last one, but oh, I don't remember. I'll throw it in here so that you can see it because I'm pretty sure it was from the last haul. I don't remember guys, but I'll put the thing up there to show you. I got three of these, two of them have already sold and they sold within like, the first one sold within like a 10 hours and this one sold within 24, 36 hours. So it's a Pendleton and I did look up comps and I looked up sell through for this. It's a size eight and it's this faded midi skirt, very schoolgirl style, very academic. Um, and I think this sold for $37. Thirty-seven ish, thirty-five ish, something like that. Again on Depop. Okay, I probably set that aside actually because I gotta ship that. Okay, I picked these up for myself. They're C and C, and they're linen, fifty-three percent linen, and they're a large. And they just were too big, and they fit weird. Sometimes I can fit in a large, sometimes I can't. So I am going to try reselling them. They're kind of a popular style right now with like the, tr the kind of like a um, cargo style. Linen is always a great fabric to consider. Okay, now this is a really po popular and expensive bra brand. If you don't know this brand, I'm putting the tag really big up on the screen for you to see. It's Third Love. I think this is listed for like 40 bucks. I think this bra retails around a hundred ish. Okay. And they have, I believe they tell you, yeah, this is the cotton t-shirt bra. They tell you the style right on the band. Okay. Bigger sizes in that brand. I saw actually have another one of those, but it's in here somewhere. But it's in here. Okay. Well, I've gotten a lot of interest on these. These were new or are not were, they are new with tags. And the brand is Can Can, K A N C A N. And they're a size 11. So it is a junior sizing. These would fit a waist size 29, but they're the flare style. I have these listed for 50. I've had quite a few watchers, and I have been sending offers for 40. And I haven't had any bites yet, but I fully expect those will sell within about a month. With that style, that's very popular right now. So crazily, I found these brand new Spanx. These are a size medium. And the style name is on the tag. So if you look at the tag for Spanx, if you have a tag, these are the ankle jeanish leggings in twilight rinse. And the MSRP is 98. I think I have these listed for 50. Okay. Oopsie. Oopsie. All right. This next item is also sold. Um, this also sold on Depop and it sold within like 15 minutes of listing it. So, you know, this is a, a good one and I have no idea why. I really have no idea. So there is some staining on it. It's a Harley Davidson men's. It's got the flames on the arms. I was thinking like, is it because it's like the 3D? It's not, it's 2005. So it's almost vintage, it's almost 20 years old. It's a men's large. It actually looks more like an extra large. And I don't know, it just sold, it sold for $30. And again, within like 15 minutes, it was fast. Okay, here is another Chico size three. It's that button up, uh, no iron, non wrinkly style, although that does look like it's got wrinkles. Hey, I think I have that one listed for 28 or 30. I don't remember, but somewhere around there. Hoping that it'll sell for around 25. Or if somebody bundled it, I'd give a little bit better of a deal. This is fresh produce. And 
you know, I think I need to stop picking this brand up because it just is not doing as well as it used to do. This was a brand that a lot of resellers would talk about. Um, and it just, I don't know, it's just not selling well. So it's got this interesting, almost like an iCat print. It's got the two pockets. It's very log and look. It's like oversized, boxier. It's not cropped. Um, I don't think the material, I think it's just cotton or a cotton blend. Oh, it's actually polyrayon. Um, so they do have the style numbers right on the materials tag. So you can look that up and give yourself a little bit more information. I've got two of these dresses. I think that's listed for maybe 25 or 30. I have two of these dresses. These are boutique dresses. They're both in plus size. This is a 1X, this is tiered midi dress with a button front sundress. And then I have it in a 2X. So those are pretty easy to list. I paid a dollar each for these, which I think is a great price. And it is the middle of winter. You should start thinking about listing summer items. Probably, I think by mid-February, that should be something that you should be thinking about and focusing on, looking for those. Obviously, still listing winter stuff. It's still really in the, in the heart of winter. I, I Did I say how much I thought those were listed for? I think they may be listed for around 40. I don't remember exactly. I'm cutting my forehead off again. This is a brand that can be really good. I had looked up comps. Um, and I thought that I, I thought that this was good. I hadn't seen this pattern. And then after I got home, I looked up comps again to see if I could find some inform more information. And, um, this wasn't a great pattern, but I couldn't resist. I am a dog lover. We have two pups. One is a Shorky, uh, a Yorkie and a Shih Tzu mix. Um, and the other is a Cavalier and Cavachon mix. And I just, I love dogs. We got those dogs when my girls left for college. Um, you know, just replacement, replacement dogs. But anything with dogs, I am definitely a sucker for. These are PJ pants, they're medium and they're women's. I think those are only listed for like 23, just because comps weren't great. All right, pick this up because I thought it was a swimsuit. It was with the swimsuits. I should have known it wasn't a swimsuit based on the snaps at the crotch area. Um, it's a plus size, brand new with tags but it's a bodysuit. It's Ashley Stewart. Retails for 44. I paid a dollar for it. And I thought that it was a bathing suit and it wasn't. So there you go, guys, there you go. We're all dumb sometimes, right? We all make bad choices, I guess. Anyway, okay. American Eagle. Now this is something that I am definitely not avidly looking for anymore unless it is like the flare style um the there's like a loose fitting one i can't remember what it's called and so there are a couple styles that i will still look for and in bigger sizes these i picked up for myself and then they just didn't fit me I, they're they just didn't fit right i didn't like the way they fit they're an eight and they're the uh just the skinny they're the super high rise jegging crop I like the next level stretch myself. I, I bought American Eagle, but I liked the patchwork that had the denim patches under it for myself. Since it didn't fit, I will sell it. Since it is a size eight, it'll probably sell for around 18 to 22 ish dollars, 25 ish dollars. So, I mean, if you are okay in your model of getting something that is a dollar and flipping it for 20 or 18, then go for it. Here's a style I did pick up because it is that wide leg and it is American Eagle. You see that nice wide leg. It is a vintage style of American Eagle. It's an older style. And these are called the boy fit, the boyfriend fit. And I don't, the boyfriend wide leg. Um, they've got interesting pockets. I don't think these are live yet. I don't, so I don't remember what the price is cause I didn't, I didn't push them live yet. I'll probably list that for around 30. 32, 35 the most. These I picked up because of the style. Um, Express is not something I pick up very often, but because of the studded style and the, the embellishment and because of the fact that it is a flare leg, I did pick them up because they were a dollar. They're five, six. We'll see what happens. Um, I think they're an awesome style. I think they're very trendy, but Somebody else needs to think that, right? Like, I can't be the only one 
thinks that. Now, I've never purchased this brand in a top. I've only focused on dresses. The brand is, or uh, blazers, like cardigans, Nomadic Traders, and an XL. In dresses, and I think I've sold maybe two or three of their dresses, and cardigans, one or two cardigans, it does pretty well. I saw this. It had like this interesting cinched neckline and cinching at the uh, sleeve, the cuff, and it was a XL, and it's a pretty color, so I picked it up thinking maybe I could get 20 for it. We'll see. Okay, this I picked up because, hello, it's vintage. You could tell just by the inside, the interior of it, and then when you look at the tag, it's very vintage. It's a giant's jacket. Um, it is a size small, made in the USA, 100% nylon and 100% polyester. And you can see on there, the Pink Panther. <laughs> Apparently they're making this out of fiberglass. I don't even know, is this even legal to sell? Anyway, it did have a couple flaws to it, but just because of the style, I decided to grab it. This is a brand that right now is trending. It's Abercrombie and Fitch, depending on what it is. Corduroy, I feel like is also always good this time of year. And this has got a little flair to it. You'll see there's a little bit of wear right there at the bottom. These are listed and I have had quite a few watchers on eBay. I think they're listed for 40. They're a size six. Um, yeah, size six. Okay, so there's that. And that, you can take a look at that tag again. That's an older tag. Okay. This is a men's, another men's item. I'd never heard of this before. Canali. It's made in Italy. You see the men's sizing there. And I'm trying to remember what the material was because I feel like that was a big deal. Yes, it's virgin wool, 100%. That was one of the reasons I picked it up. That and the size. I can't remember what a 50 is off the top of my head. And I like that color block uh, at the cuffs and the hem and the v-neck and it's very soft so we'll see what happens with that brand okay this next brand something i'd never heard of it's a men's brand and some of the comps looked really good it's called lead bury looking at that label it's very unassuming it's a men's xl which honestly i kind of like this better <laughs> I don't know about you but sometimes I get myself stuck on things that I buy and I'm like hmm I think I'll just keep that for myself for a little bit and again it was the materials that caught my eye and where it was made so it's super fine merino wool and it's made in Italy so I did go ahead and pick that up and I think that that is listed and I unfortunately can't remember exactly how much maybe around 40 okay my goal target like sale price is $28 that's what I like to try to sell stuff for, but I've been finding that Poshmark, I'm like giving some stuff away right now because I just want to get rid of old stuff. I mean, if somebody makes me a $7 offer on something that I've had for a long time, I'm like, bye. Okay. Because how about you? But I get tired of having that old stuff hanging around. It's like time to donate it. This is a vintage brand called Brownstone Studio. Okay. This did not have tags but I love this very retro design and it's a it's a blazer style it is larger it's got to be like an XL and I did find the exact blazer and actually the the brand is still being sold because it was available to list under um and I I want to say I want to say I listed that for like 40 or 50 Here's another Chico's piece. It's a size two, so it's a little bit smaller. And it's this tapestry beaded jacket, like blazer jacket. And I just loved the, the beading on it. I'll show you the beading up close and the mixed pattern. You see this, oh, that's not the beading, hello. Um, and it's got sequins as well. There's some of the beading. So I did pick that up. Um, unfortunately, I looked at comps and they didn't, I did not look at comps when I, when I was in the store. <sighs> Sometimes I do that and I shouldn't, but I did. And I don't think that comp that great, but. All right, we're actually almost done with this. Okay, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. 
This is a brand that I thought was an anthropology brand. It's Kate, C-A-I-T-E, and Kate is an anthropology brand. This one wasn't, I don't think, because the labels are so different. This didn't have a materials tag, but I am 90% sure it is silk. It feels like silk. It is a long kimono, and it has this really pretty uh, sequins on it. I don't know if you'll be able to, yeah, you can see those. So anyway, I'm not sure how this will do. It's definitely a larger size. It's got shoulder pads. It's vintage. So I think I, I only have that listed for like 25. All right, here's, okay, so that pendleton skirt was definitely in this haul. So I will include that for you so that you can see it. It was a very interesting, very pretty pendleton skirt with hidden pleats. Okay, so I'll show that to you. Here is another of the pendleton skirts. This one hasn't sold yet. And same size, size eight a pleated skirt and I have it listed for about the same I think 35 now J crew is a brand that you kind of, I try to be a little bit more selective about but I did look this up and it looked like comps were good it is such a cozy soft sweater um, I think that is boucle is that how you say that you tell me b-o-u-c-l-e you tell me is it boucle and it has wool and alpaca in it. That's probably why it's so soft because of the alpaca and just really stretchy because it's got elastane. So medium, um, this is not listed yet, I don't think. I think maybe 35 or 40. Okay, we're getting down there. This is a, a university, Syracuse University, which is south of us. It's new with tags and it's this men's very funky uh, pant. And it has pockets because it was new with tags it is a collegiate brand or actually it's a, i think it's a i think that's collegiate yeah i don't even know what this thing means Colle official collegiate licensed products it's got like that little sticker so i did go ahead and pick these up for a dollar hopeful that they might sell for like 25 to 35 that's kind of just an interesting little zebra pattern. But somebody might want that to go to a, a basketball game. Syracuse University basketball is huge. If you've never heard of Syracuse University, it is really big when it comes to basketball. All right. Then last is another third love bra. This is a 24 seven lace balconette bra. Can't really see that that well. Size 36 G and Ooh, there we go. It's just this really pretty light blue lace color with the nude underneath it. And the straps and the straps on the other one also are able to be uh, removed. And if you want to crisscross them, you can, or you can wear them flat. All right, everyone, that is it for the second part of this thrift haul. There isn't a third. So that's it for this. Thanks so much for joining me. If you stuck around for all 23 minutes, I appreciate it. If you are not subscribed yet, I would love if you would hit subscribe. I've gained maybe 350 followers in the last couple months so I appreciate every single one of you for following and those of you that have commented I apparently screwed up how to um, hit notifications I don't know if they're fixed yet I tried to fix them I am not really super YouTube savvy so any hints tricks anything like that is definitely appreciated if you're returning I would love if you would leave me a comment let me know what your thoughts are would you have picked up all of these things what would you not have picked up? What's something in here that surprises you? And um, yeah, I just am very thankful for anyone who's joining me in this journey that I'm on as a reseller. Thanks so much, everyone. And I hope you sell lots.